हिस्ट्री पर आशिकी विद्यालय सी बी एस ई क्लास फोर्थ सब्जेक्ट साइंस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू फोर्थ साइंस ऑनलाइन क्लास इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी लर्न द टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेर एनिमल्स लिव वेर एनिमल्स लिव एनिमल्स आर फाउंड एवरीवेर ऑन लैंड ट्रीज फ्लाइंग इन द एयर एंड इन वाटर एक्सेट्रा some animals are found on both land and in water based on this where animals spend most of their time they can be grouped into terrestrial arboreal aerial aquatic and amphibian animals terrestrial arboreal aerial aquatic and amphibian animals first we are going to see terrestrial animals animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals their bodies are suited to living on land they have legs which help them to walk on land they breathe with the help of their lungs and the other organs the climatic conditions may vary from place to place it is very cold in mountains and polar regions whereas it is very hot in desert the mountains and polar regions are very cold but in the desert it is very hot climatic conditions a yak lives on the mountains and a polar bear lives in the polar regions the camel is found on the in the desert only animals such as seal penguin and walrus are adapted to live in freezing conditions they have a thick layer of fat called blubber under their skin to keep their body warm animals that live in very cold places have thick fur on their body which protects from their cold then animals such as bear frog and snake become inactive in cold winter months when the food is scarce the inactivity during winter months or winter sleep is called hibernation that is during the winter they sleep in caves or burrows in the ground and use up the extra fat this behavior is called hibernation the animals living in deserts have very little hair on their body since there is lack of water in the deserts some animals such as camels drink large amounts of water at one time so that they can survive without water for many days animals that living in deserts have very little hair on their body since there is a lack of water in deserts some animals such as camels drink large amount of water at one time that water can be used for many days the slowing down of activity or settling down to a long sleep by some animals during the hot summer months is called estivation slowing down of activity or settling down to a long sleep by some animals during the hot summer months is called estivation thus animals have adapted to live in different climatic conditions first terrestrial animals animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals yak lives in mountains polar bear lives in the polar regions the camel found in the desert and seal penguin or live in freezing conditions the inactivity during the winter months or winter sleep by some animals is called hibernation then slowing down of activity or settling down to a long sleep by some animals during the hot summer months is called estivation okay that are the characteristics of animals live on land then aquatic animals 
animals that live in water are called aquatic animals most aquatic animals breathe through gills except whales and dolphins they breathe through their lungs most aquatic animals have fins or paddles that help them to swim apart from fish octopus turtle and crab also aquatic animals next amphibians animals that can live both on land and in water are called amphibians already we have seen this animals that can live both on land and in water are called amphibians for example frog toads etc the back legs of these animals are stronger than their front legs this helps them to jump which is how they move on land then they have webbed feet that help them to swim in water the back leg the back legs of these animals are stronger than their front legs this helps them to jump which is how they have move on land and they have webbed feet that help them to swim in water next arboreal animals animals spend most of their time in trees animals spend most of their time on trees are called arboreal animals they have strong arms and legs to climb trees Squirrels use their strong claws to cling tightly to branches. Some monkeys coil their long muscular tail around branches while swinging from branch to branch. Monkeys coil their long muscular tail around branches while swinging from branch to branch. Next aerial animals Animals that can fly and spend a lot of their time in the air are called aerial animals. Animals spend a lot of time in the air are called aerial animals. Such animals have hollow bones that make their bodies light. They have wings instead of front legs. For example, almost all birds except flightless birds. then birds also form a part of this group in the cold winter months when food becomes scarce many birds fly towards warmer countries in search of food and warmth this mass movement of birds from a colder to a warmer place is called migration that is the regular movement of animals every year in search of better living conditions is called migration